What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarter. Let's get right off into this. Let's get right off into this, man. Okay. T.I. and Boosie was working on an album. The album was almost done and it was finna come out. T.I. recently, not too long ago, went on a podcast with which he was talking about his snitching allegations for when he caught the charging for all those guns. And according to T.I., it's crazy this story from the sound. I just want y'all to pay attention to it. So T.I. cousin ends up dying. Uh, ends up dying. Like. And then happened to visit him right before he had any conviction or trial or things like that. And according to T.I., his cousin came to him in a dream, like, in some type of vision, a dream, his dead cousin. And was telling him, like, if you have to say I did it in order to be free, then just blame it on me. I'm dead. I did it. Say, if that can get you off the hook. Say that. And I, I don't mind. And according to T.I., that's how he got off his drug charges. He blamed it on his cousin. His gun charges, I mean. He blamed it on his cousin. So he blamed it on his cousin, who was dead, and said that his cousin did it. It was his cousin's. That's what he said. So he blamed it on his dead cousin. Same thing that happened with, I believe, uh, who was that? Birdman, them brother. Uh, so Birdman, them brother, I guess he was locked up for all this time. So he decided to cooperate with the police to get out of jail for to get out of jail by giving the police some information they didn't know about. And he said that it was some dead some guys who was already dead, they did this. The guys who did, they did this. They accepted the information, and he ended up getting out as a result of telling on some dead people. Boosie didn't take too kind to that and said some things about him because, according to him, snitching is snitching. Don't matter if a person is alive. Don't matter if a person dead. Snitching is snitching. Same thing with T.I. As a result of what happened with T.I., saying the same thing about his cousin didn't put him in a place. Either he was going to have to go back on what he said against Birdman brother, or he was going to have to use the same energy when speaking against T.I. So he didn't waver. What he decided to do was say the same thing. Snitching is snitching. Whether he dead or whether he alive, you sniffed on a dead man. That wasn't right. As a result of that not being right, I can't put this album out. Yeah, me and you cool, me and you real, but I can't put this album out. Then he also said something to the nature of, um, he also said something to the nature of, uh, what else he has said? Oh, he got a call from his uncle or something talking about, man, you heard what T.I. said, man, you can't put that album out, man. You know, you got an image and a reputation to uphold. What do I think of this? What is my opinion on this as being battle truth and being an older brother? I think it's I think it's all a bunch of bull. That's what it is. People always talk about they wouldn't snitch and they wouldn't tell. Well, it depends. It depends on what you're facing. It depends on where your heart at at that moment. It depends on what the thing you're going through in your life at that moment. It depends. It depends. Everybody easily can say that until you're in that situation. When you're facing the death penalty, would you still be quiet if you had a, a, a way out of it? Or would you just pridefully go to the electric chair? What if you were sick and bodied? 
struggling with cancer or something like that you battling? Would you want to spend the rest of your days in prison? Would you want to die in prison? What if you had children? What if you was in love? It's easy for you to say that until you're in that situation. What if your what if your guys betrayed you? What if they told on you? How did you end up getting there? It's a lot that go in with those type of things. A lot. Talk about this situation. Let's take let's say Birdman brother. Let's take him first. Him and T.I. Take them together. So both of them told on dead people who dead and gone so that they could be free. The Bible say a live dog, a live dog is better than a dead lion. <laughs> a live dog is better than a dead lion. Right. If you dead, you dead. The dead don't see. The dead don't know. The dead don't even care. The dead don't see. The dead don't hear. The dead don't know. They don't. If you dead and you in hell, do you care that a person told on you on earth? Uh-uh, because you're trying to get out of hell. I don't care about them telling on me. How the hell can I get up out of this place of suffering? How can I get out of this lake of fire? How could I get out of this torment? I don't care about nothing that's going on. How could I get out of this? When you're dead and in hell, you don't care about nothing that's going on on this earth. You want to get out of hell. Let's say you're dead and you're in heaven. Do you care about what's being said about you down on this earth? When you're in heaven in the presence of God in a glorified state full of power and love and truth and Experiencing all of creation that God ever made and created throughout the universe and the heavens and the fullness thereof. Man, you don't care about nothing happening on this wicked, evil planet Earth. You don't care? You don't care at all, do you? Nope. Same thing here. You don't care. Guess how we know that this is true, that we don't care? We don't care because as a result of us not caring, because they don't know anyway. They don't care. Why we tend to care. If I could tell on somebody dead to be free, okay, I'm going to do it. He dead, eh? What do that mean? That don't mean nothing. You would do it too. You mean to tell me you would rather for me to do 30 years in prison but I can tell on a dead man who dead and gone, can't get arrested, can't get dug back up or nothing, and be free. Yeah, go do your time. Damn, how you think of me then? That's how you think of me? You would rather for me to go do 50, 20, 30 years, but I can say this dead man did it and be free. Nah, come on. Yeah, you got a problem. Yeah, 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 you the one got a problem. Man, I ain't trying to. These people, be, they be trying to be so street that it's fake. They don't know. Okay, so are you going to say a person ain't real because they snitch? Okay, let's go to Pablo Escobar. When Pablo Ex Escobar, was he a gangster? Was he a thug? Was he real by what you call it? Would you come in, call, come in his face and call him a coward? But did he snitch? Yeah, he snitched on a lot of people. He sent a lot of people up. But that man to cut your head off and murder your whole family. Shoot you in your face. That nigga had more money than so many people. What? Would you call him a rat? Would you call El Chapo a rat? He snitched. He snitched. Would you would you say he's soft? Would you call him a rat? He considered to be a real. He considered to be gangster gangster. And a whack you and murder your whole family. They sent a lot of people up. You know how many gangsters sent people up but to blow your brains out? 
or have your own partners and family cross you at the snap of a finger if they commanded it? See, people very selective in what they do. And they would say this because they not in that situation. See, the thing about Boosie's situation when he got locked up, he said, I didn't snitch. Well, you couldn't snitch in your situation because you were the one that was being accused of doing the murders. So you couldn't snitch. You were the one accused of doing the murders. Now, what if the shoe went the other way around? Somebody else did all the murders, but you knew about it, and they wanted you to snitch, or you were going to get life in prison. See, that's the difference. But hold on. You said T.I. was your friend. Y'all was a good friend. His son and your son is cool. Now what happens between them as a result of what you said? They just got, got into it with Charles and White as a result of Charles and White disrespecting y'all. Now y'all disrespecting each other. You called T.I. a snitch on Vlad TV for the world to see. How T.I. son supposed to take that being with your son now? And they supposed to have been cool, working on a reality TV show together and everything. But look at what you do for, 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 for look, look at how friendship could easily be bought and sold out for. If it's true friendship, it's true friendship. If you my friend, you my friend. Why would I say that you my friend only for me to then show that you not my friend? The world ain't going to never accept you anyway. But see, people have this false identity of realness. You don't have no image to uphold. How y'all have an image to uphold and a homosexual run the whole industry y'all in? Y'all can't speak out against homosexuality. Y'all selective on what y'all talk about. Y'all don't come at the LGBTQ, but you gangsters, you street dudes, you stand-up people. Y'all selective on who y'all go after. How? They run this whole game. Y'all can't speak against the Jews. You can't speak against the homosexuals. But you always can talk about niggas. See, 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 we always can talk about niggas. Oh, yeah, you can talk about niggas. We always, yeah, yeah, nothing happens to it. Yeah, that's right. Tear each other down. Disrespect each other. Go at each other's neck. Yeah, y'all can do that. But don't talk about us up here. You talk about us up here, then. They selective. They walk a fine line. And they don't have respect for life and God. They walk a fine line. And they be in order. They be in order. <laughs> Come on, man. Dudes are terrible, man. I don't think that's right. But I think T.I. needed to see that. You need to know. They don't need each other. T.I. don't need Boosie. Boosie don't need T.I. Both of them at the end of their careers or at this point. Nobody cares about albums they drop. They just doing tours based upon the name that they already built up for one another. At this point, they should be friends. They should know how to come together and speak to the youth. They should know how to use their influence or whatever's left over of it to make a difference of what's going on in this community. They seeing rappers getting gunned down and killed like quicker than nothing, man. This is the most dangerous occupation to be in. And so many OG rappers and guys who've been in the game for so long, they assist and attribute to these things rather than helping and coming together to be unified, to build, to try to change things. Look at how long it's been. We ain't got no self destruction They can't even do a self-destruction song. Remember that? Self-destruction. We headed for self-destruction. All the East Coast rappers came together and did a song about stop the violence in hip-hop. One, two, three. The crew and call BDP. And if you want to go to the tip top, stop the violence and hip hop. Why, yo? Stop it, man. This is all about no doubt to stop violence. First, let's have a moment of silence. 
Reggie gave to Katie, re-educated, evaluated. <laughs> Come on, they were getting down. Yes, we earned to merge to live for the love of our brothers and sisters to get around. Getting the point to a good boy. So we run it. in my head, you know what? They was they was snapping on that. I ain't gonna even hold you. Same thing for we all in the same game. Then all the West Coast people did it. We all in the same game. They came together, stopped the violence and that. We ain't had none of that since this era. Drill music and murder and kill them up, bang, bang. You can't even get them brothers to come together and do a song about stopping the violence. Everything in pride and arrogance. Who get on our Instagram? Who disrespect each other? Who do all this? Just, just, just terrible. No examples. No leadership. Puffy won't say nothing. Jay-Z won't say nothing. The, 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 the two tycoons of music, Dr. Dre, Puffy, Eminem, 50 Cent, them, none of them won't say nothing. They won't even come together and speak about the murder and violence and rap. None of them. They're going to show you the agenda behind it. But every time a rapper get their brain blew out, you can go on Twitter. Rappers show respect to such and such. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so when y'all gonna come together and do something about it? When y'all heads gonna come together and do something about it? When you gonna get Jay-Z, Puffy, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Jay Prince? When y'all gonna all come together? When you gonna talk about this stuff? Right. Right. It's all a part of the system. It's all a part of the agenda. It's real. With that being said, it is what it is. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question is yours. I think it's real fake, but I think it needs to be done so you can see. The dead don't know nothing. Who cares? Who cares? Man. Yeah. I snitch on somebody to get out. I'm keeping it real. I snitch on a dead person to get out. I would. If I'm facing 20, 30, 40 years and I can tell on a dead man to get out, I'm getting out. He did it. Well, he did. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know he did it before he died. You sure? Yeah, I'm absolutely positive. He did it. Hold on. Let me talk to D.A., we know who killed such and such. Oh, y'all do? Go get him. Well, he did. He did. Yeah, he did. Uh, okay, just close the case then. Right. Let me go. <laughs> who wouldn't do that? I mean, that's like people really, really be, be trying to act so real. Who would? You wouldn't tell on a dead man to be free. A dead man. He don't hear, he don't see, he don't know, he can't get arrested. But you'd rather for me to go do 20, 30, 40 years. Come on, man. Like, well, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. That sound real good. I be wishing people could really be in them situations in real life. I, I, I really do. I be wishing they can be in them situations in real life. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if they could do the same, they would. It's just easy to say that when you're not in it. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Let me ask y'all the question. People in the comments. I'm going to keep it 100. I already know we're going to have some super gangsters in the comments. But if you've been facing 20, 30, 40 years in prison, factual, you know this to be true. And you had the chance to tell on a dead man to say he did it to be set free. Would you do it? Matter of fact, all jokes aside, let's keep it real. This is what they trying to say what happened in the Lil Durk and uh, uh, King Vaughn situation. Remember, both of them were fighting that gun case, that 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 attempt murder and things uh, uh, before King Vaughn got killed. Remember that? King Vaughn got killed. Dirk case got dropped after that. Would Dirk been wrong if he said Vaughn did that? No, I wouldn't think he'd be wrong for that. You know why? 
Cause Vaughn dead. He ain't coming back. At least if you're gonna tell on Vaughn and say Vaughn did it, if if that was true. I don't know if it was true. I'm just saying if it was true. Okay, but I'm still gonna look out for Vaughn family and his kids at the same time. I got off the case, even though we both did it together. But hey, if I'm able to say he did it and he can't go to jail and he gone already, okay, I'm free. So I'm still out to make money, do things like that, better my life, change things around. And guess what? I'm going to look out for your family too. I'm pretty sure if he was a friend of mine, he would want me to do the same thing. If Vaughn had a choice, I'm pretty sure he would have said, man, I'm already gone. Go on here, bro. Get up out of there. Get up out of that jam. Anybody. if one, I know my friends enough to know if they was dead and I'm facing 20, 30 years, they would rather for me to tell on them than, uh, they dead anyway, they can't go to jail. Ain't nothing happened to them. They would rather me to say that to be free. Like, man, say I did that, man. I'm out of here. Get up out of here. Yeah, get up out that jam. I did it. They can't arrest me. They can't take me to jail. I oh, don't know, man. People just be super thug. It is what it is. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. What y'all think?